Hi, welcome back to EducateTooth.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today, I want to talk about lithium battery. This battery here is used to power a lot of my electronic devices. In fact, I modified my electronic devices to use this type of battery. This is the 18650 lithium battery type, and it comes in this size. In fact, two of this can power a standard smartphone. So let's talk about it right now. Okay, so this lithium battery, you can get it from salvage laptop battery. So for example, let's say you have a laptop battery that you're basically going to throw away, or if you know someone who's going to throw it away, you can take it apart, and what you end up getting is you know, a couple of these. In fact, I think there's 8 to 10 of them inside the uh, laptop batteries. And out of the 10, maybe 7 or 8 of them will still work fine. If you can get them, you're able to power a lot of things. For example, if you get one of these type of flashlights, as you can see, it's LED flashlight, it normally runs on a uh, AAA battery, so I can show you right now. See, this three AAA batteries. However, depending on the length of the uh, LED flashlight, if it's long enough, you can actually fit this lithium battery inside. And it's actually more powerful than the AAA uh, batteries. That's three of them in here. So let me show you the difference here. This is going to be very bright compared to just the three AAA batteries. Okay, so this one happened to be able to fit your lithium battery. And guess what? I bought this at a dollar store. Now it's not really a dollar, but now they call a dollar store, you know, meaning it's going to be over four dollars sometime. So this was a four dollar uh, flashlight, but you can see it's very bright. Okay, so using the lithium battery, this type. So that's one of the applications. And if you're able to combine them together, let me show you another set of uh, lithium battery that I got and I solder in together. So I solder in together in parallel and you can see now I have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery system. And what I end up doing is I took one of the uh, lithium power pack. Okay, this is power bank. And this is a fast charging one. It uses the USB-C inside the electronics the circuit it's able to charge quickly now the cool thing about it is that I took out the original lithium battery and I modified by allowing it to connect together using male female connector that I put together so now by putting it together like this I now are able to charge my smartphone for example if I use a USB-C connector to this power bank okay notice it's now using this salvage two lithium battery, the 18650, two of them in parallel. So it's around 4,000 milliamp hour. And you hook it up to, say, my smartphone, just like this. Let me show you. Okay. There we go. And you can see it's now charging this smartphone. Pretty cool, right? So that's how I was able to standardize my lithium power bank. By taking the lithium batteries connected in parallel, now I have 4,000 milliamp hour battery system. Now I even went further, making it even more powerful by adding more of those battery. And what I am getting is this very powerful 3.7 volt, 12,600 milliamp hour. Basically, it has six lithium battery, the 18650. Uh, connected in parallel as you can see here now you have a very powerful battery bank 12,600 milliamp hour and I can hook up to my power bank system here okay so I can just take this uh, connector out and attach this one in there and now I have another uh, battery that I can run and charge my smartphone another thing I like about this system that I developed is that imagine now I'm able to power any USB devices so for example a fan like this one here there we go okay so this is a USB uh, fan and I can use it to you know cool me down another better one of course that I got is this one here this one is a very powerful fan it uses a lithium battery directly using the 1850 and you connect it to just put it in just like a regular battery but except it's a lithium battery and then 
just turn it on and wow now this is really powerful you can hear the motor going but I can feel the air pushing to my face and it really cools me down so that's why I like this new lithium uh, power system because it's so powerful and it is rechargeable now let me show you how I charge these type of uh, battery now there's two way of course one way is to connect you know take one of your power bank disassemble it and form a connection between your lithium batteries like this one here you can see connected to the uh, power bank uh, circuit so that's one way and this is assuming that you're running a 3.7 volt system if you have a uh, more higher voltage of course you would need some system that's able to charge it uh, at a high voltage okay for example I would use my Sony battery system that I put together okay so for example this Sony battery system uh, charges uh, 7.4 volt so you can run a more powerful type of devices like for example charging a, a motor okay so here I have ability to connect um, the charging unit to this unit here that I put together so this is a 7.4 volt unit basically I just snap it onto my Sony battery like this and then I connect one of the 7.4 volt system and then this is able to charge in fact I can do both of them at the same time it's so cool so that's if you want to have more powerful type of uh, battery system basically take these two batteries lithium battery and connect in series so you have 3.7 volt 3.7 volt connected in series like this and you will get 7.4 now usually what I do is I connect like this and then I will rotate it positive negative and there we have a serial connection like that okay now I can even go further and have a more powerful uh, system voltage system that is like 14.8 volt now how I did that and I'll show you right now this is able to allow me to power my power tool for example uh, a cutter or something like that so here it is okay this is a 14.8 volt system now how I did that is I basically take a 7.4 volt system connect them in series as you can see here 7.4 7.4 basically four lithium batteries that's 18650 four of them right connect in series and I'm able to then uh, charge my power uh, tools now let me show you what it looks like it's basically a clip okay here is the negative end and on the other side now this is <laughs> do yourself type of uh, battery so you be very careful because you don't want to short circuit this type of battery it will explode so you need to be careful you got to know what you're doing okay so here you have positive and negative system okay and what you do is you connect to a power tools or a power hungry system that require high voltage and it works great now the problem of course is how do you charge a 14.8 uh, volt system well I was able to do that by basically creating a connector uh, for 7.4 and the, the other one is 7.4 so connect that to each of the battery system the 7.4 and then these two clips allow it to connect together to form 14.8 now individually I can charge the 7.4 volt system you see here this is 7.4 and 7.4 so I have to charge that individually ideally you need some kind of circuit regulator but this is the simplest way to charge your battery without too much of the integrated circuit and it works fine especially these type of 18650 but what you want to do is make sure you monitor your voltage from time to time so that it doesn't uh, overcharge but normally when you have a system like this the Sony uh, battery system is a 7.4 volt you should be fine so you would charge that connect this to the 7.4 volt like this here you have to do this individually okay so when you connect it you charge this first then once it's fully charged then you connect the other one you cannot do this at the same time it will short circuit the system just be aware of that at least this is my system that I developed it doesn't allow me to do at the same time you have to charge this one first 7.4 then charge this one 7.4 I know it's a little bit inconvenient but what you get out of uh, it is a very powerful 14.8 voltage system it's actually ranged from 14.8 to 16.8 voltage system and that allows you to power a lot of power tools a cutter something that runs very uh, powerful motors so that's my lithium uh, system that I was able to standardize this lithium battery is such a great asset 
for me to develop DIY system. I can do a lot of uh, powerful electronics I put together and just having this lithium batteries I was able to power a lot of these tools which is awesome. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.